Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Dr. Pinu here. It might look like we're just having a loungy, chill time. However, we're not. <laughs> we're going on a great adventure and I'm very excited about it. So we're going to go camping for the first time here in Vancouver. Anytime you go camping in a different place, for some reason it feels very daunting. So like, if you tell me, let's go camping in Utah, I'll do it. I won't even like look into it. I'm like, great, let's go. But here it's like, but there's bears and there's, I don't know, wildfires and there's so many different things that could kill us and I feel like we're not ready. So, but we're just gonna go ahead and make the leap. We're doing a very small trip so it doesn't feel too intimidating and I think it'll be great. Like this is gonna be like a little 24 hour trip. It's really not that big of a deal. We have plenty of food. We're actually going to stop at Mech, which is Mountain Equipment Company. I don't know. It's basically their REI, but here, because <laughs> REI isn't up here in Canada. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go buy a sleeping pad so that we don't freeze our buns off tonight. So I have been working like a busy little bee all morning, getting all of our stuff, and it's all packed, and we are ready to go. <laughs> okay, let's go. <gasps> we got matching socks, and they're the cutest things ever. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> A big mountain. So driving into here reminded me a lot of Queenstown. Just the windiness next to this big beautiful lake and all the mountains. It was so pretty. So yeah, we're stopping at Squamish just for a little bit. Just for a little bit of food, fun, whatever. We've never been here before so it's fun to just kind of explore it for a minute. So then we're going to go look at a waterfall. Brandywine waterfall. So that should be nice. It's just a little walk. It's not anything intense at all. And then we're going to head to our camp spot, which is a first come first serve kind of deal. So we probably should get a move on. Um, and hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt. <laughs> and then, yeah, if everything goes well, then we will all sleep in the tent and it will be a lovely experience. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, we're only like an hour and a half away. So I'm not too concerned. We have made it to our spot. So we had a friend tell us about this place. It's only $15 per night. So very affordable and quite a bit of privacy. Like I've been some camp spots that have a, a higher price tag that are more crammed together than this for sure. So <laughs> I'm not complaining. <sighs> Naturey. <laughs> I love this. Um, yeah, so we're gonna set up our spot because like I was saying before, it's first come first serve. So I was just like, oh, we're gonna miss out on our place. So we're gonna set up and then we're gonna go find this little waterfall that's just down the road. It's like five minutes away from here, so. That's where we're gonna have our fire next to the tent. Actually, fires are banned right now, so no <laughs> fires. <laughs> this is how it usually goes. We have a digger and dump truck. <laughs> He's inside wreaking havoc in the tent and she's just eating dirt. Um, but yeah, we're going to eat a little bit of food and then go to the waterfall.
this little waterfall is so wonderful. I mean, it would be really nice if we could like hike down to the bottom of it and play with it. I think that's what William really wants. This is nice. It's a very easy walk. It takes like 15 minutes one direction. It's not anything troublesome, but it is just nice to be out and about doing something, so. <laughs> I am abused. Hey, my car. Yeah, in case you didn't know, William is having a bit of a train phase. So to say he is excited about this train track here is an understatement. <laughs> we had to convince him to leave it the first time and then I had to drag him away from it the second time. We didn't even know that this was here. It's so pretty. The water reminds me of the water in the South Island in New Zealand. I love when water gets that like cloudy, bright colored look to it. I think it's all the minerals and dust stuff, but it's still pretty looking. We had a fun time going down by the water and throwing in rocks and William got his feet wet, of course. That was wild. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I really just, I'm clueless as to why William turns into a little wood sprite. I don't know, he gets this little spirit in him. The little bit of listening that he does know how to do, completely gone. When we do anything like this, I don't know, I feel like it should have the opposite effect. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about him. I am decompressing for a moment though because that was a lot. Anyways, we're not allowed to have fires, which is so sad, but um, we're gonna have these really crappy little s'mores bars. <laughs> They're terrible. They're really, um, Billy picked them out. And this is the nice part of camping, when both of the kids are asleep, and then we can actually just hang out and enjoy a moment of peace and quiet. Imagine that. But yeah, this is gonna be the rest of our night. We're just gonna enjoy each other's company and then go to bed. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. This is the fun thing about camping. You wake up and you 10 steps and you're to this. I do, Dad. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we're on the road again. We are heading, there's an abandoned train wreck down the road, I guess. I don't know, we didn't look into it very much. We just saw it on Google Maps and we're like, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna drive down. It's just like 10 minutes down the road and go and check it out. Because again, somebody's very excited by trains right now. I'm actually incredibly spooked out by the bears. <laughs> I'm like over here just yelling random things and singing loud songs because I'm so scared of them. But I just came up with the idea. It's like, I'm not scared of sharks when I go swimming in the ocean. I'm just scared of bears. I don't know, because sharks don't really come up to the shore very often. Like it's not their home. That's not where they hang out a lot of the times. But bears, they could have a den right there. That could be their home. And we're walking right by it, and I have two delicious, tasty, juicy children with me. So, <gasps> there's a chipmunk. <laughs> They've had to listen to my annoying voice this whole time. <laughs> if I don't think of anything to say for a second, I start singing Disney songs. <laughs> So, back in the day, <laughs> I don't remember dates even though I just read it, there was a train, it was like a lumber train, so it didn't have any passengers, well, besides the crew on it, um, but they were late and they were running behind schedule and so they tried to make up for it by 
going way too fast and they ended up crashing so that's how this train wreck happened I don't I didn't read about any casualties happening um, but there were seven cars that got stripped and then they just kind of like threw them into the woods just to get them out of the way so they could get their train schedule back on track <laughs> and now it's just a really cool place like on the sign here it says like oh enjoy the local art and the temperate forest so like it's a graffiti destination so now they have these cool artworks in the middle of the woods <gasps> should we go look at the trains oh, bizarre it like wants to be eerie but then they've made it all cheerful with all the graffiti <laughs> legs over oh you did it oh. <laughs> Okay. Let's go find that little waterfall. You did that better than I thought you would. We made it to Whistler. We're gonna go find some food because we really haven't eaten anything all day. <laughs> and I'm starving. Yeah, we didn't have breakfast this morning and we just had sourdough pretty much for lunch and dinner yesterday. So it feels very good to be eating some real food again. Real food. Apparently Whistler is like one of the best ski resorts in the entire world. Too bad neither me nor Billy have ever skied once in our lives. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems daunting and a little too expensive for us. I think we would love it, but maybe one day. They also have this really cool gondola that we'll get around to eventually too, but I think it's like the longest one without supports or something like that. It's really cool, but it's also, again, very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a very fun day. We are heading back to our car now, and I think I'm gonna end the video here. Definitely be coming back here. It is so beautiful. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of good food. Everybody loves it here. But like I said, most people come here in the winter time to go skiing. Maybe we'll just come up and ride the gondola someday or something. Anyways, thanks for coming along this little journey. It was so fun. We went mostly well. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.